Andrew here from ecomexperts.io yet again, and this week we are reviewing the de Deezers? Deers? Deezer. So just let's just go. Okay, the app is installed and we are on the login page. So there are two buttons right here, the login and the get started. We don't have a DSers account at the moment, so we will create one right now. Okay, so you just need your email and your password. And while we are waiting for the account creation, let's speak about what you can expect from this app. This app has some amazing features like placing bulk orders, automatic fulfillment of orders, unlimited orders per month, pre-configured delivery methods, automatic synchronization of tracking numbers, delivery tracking, price and stock control, daily synchronization of goods, and managing multiple stores from a single DSR account. So our account is created and we are on the plan picker. There are three plans, but we will speak about that in the facts corner. On the next page, we got the warning that we should deactivate the auto fulfillment feature. So they'll explain it to you very clearly. So for the sake of time, we will skip this step. And on the next step, you should link your Shopify account. Just click on the icon on the top of the page and right next to it, you can find the button to link your AliExpress account as well. Apply to AliExpress press whitelist. Um, it will provide you privileges and allow you to place bulk orders and reduce your order failure rate. So it is quite interesting. Uh, you will get access to hot DS items, trusted suppliers rank and product analysis. The next thing you need to do is map products to an AliExpress supplier. Click the button at the right side of the product card to map AliExpress suppliers to your Shopify products. So DSers will know how to process your orders to AliExpress after that. For the last step of preparation, you should set up your default shipping method in setting shipping. All right, let's import some products. For this, we will need to install their Chrome extension. So we will link to that Chrome extension in the description box down below. And once that is done, you can import literally every product you like directly from AliExpress. So that's quite useful. So let's try that. We are on AliExpress, as you can see. Um, this product actually looks quite interesting. And the, here is the button. Ta-da! And then once you click on Add to DSers, the products will appear on the import list. From here, I can edit it, delete it, add tags, or split it into multiple products. Okay, so let's import our product into our store. Click on the to your store. It's important to mention that in case you are using Luke's, you can import product reviews automatically from AliExpress. We also reviewed Luke's, so you can check that out right here. So, okay, let's see how this product looks on our website. Um, it looks okay. As with most of the products from AliExpress, you should really consider taking your own pictures because, well, that's why. But um, also, you just generally need to optimize the product listing within your Shopify store. Because this long description right here is kind of weird and we should just edit it before pushing it to our store. But that's up to you. All right, this is the speed test section where we test if this app has an impact on your performance. This is hugely important because a lot of apps, when you install them, they add code to your team, you uninstall them, they don't remove the code to your team. So you do that a couple of times a month, the code starts adding up, it slows down your store and you lose money. Easiest way to check it is go to testmystorespeed.com. It's a free tool that we've built specifically for Shopify to know how fast your store is. You'll also see which apps are still active on that and you can also see your competitors stores which apps they use so that's just between you and I right anyway drop shipping apps like these usually don't affect store speed that much because they tend to focus in the back end of the store but let's check it out anyway so we tested this store before we added the app so we can easily compare the results in the history section right here as I said, this app is functioning in the back end. So basically, if you decide to start selling with the Essers, you don't really have to worry about the Essers app affecting your store speed, which is good. Okay, now that we know about speed, what about customer support? I mean, the dropshipping app is going to be in charge of your supply chain in a certain sense. So you want to make sure they have great customer support. We're going to test that out in this section. The customer support is available via email and Facebook Messenger. So if you're in a rush, you can check their FAQs. It has a bunch of useful articles, but right now we will test their customer support via Facebook Messenger and see how quick they are. 
Uh, their working hours are from weekdays 10 a.m. to 10 p.m. UTC plus 8. What's that again? UTC plus 8? Um, now it's 9 p.m. So they should be there. The message is sent and look at that. We got the answer immediately. Excellent customer support even on the free plan. Because yes, everything you saw so far is the free plan. All right, so a couple of recommendations, just because some people asked me to add a recommendation section. Um, is this app worth it? Well, the really cool thing about the app is the processing power of this app. So it can process orders in bulk, like hundreds at a time, which is really, really cool, especially for a free app. The downside of the app is the auto updating of pricing from previously added products. So that's kind of a tough feature right there. We contacted support and they said that they were working on that to fix it. Okay, welcome to the facts corner section. This is where we spit out some facts, y'all. This does not work. I should really, I think, I think a lot of people hate it when I do this. Um, okay, so integrations, having your app work fantastic is fantastic but you know it's even better if it can talk to your other apps that you're using every day instead of just working as a single unit so what does it integrate with well it integrate with loops review uh, and you can actually automatically add the aliexpress reviews through that which is fantastic we also already reviewed Luke's before we had a nice camera and stuff. So stick with the audio on that one. It's right here. And of course you can integrate it with AliExpress. So you see something nice on AliExpress, you can just click and add, which is really nice. Just like Modalist, which we reviewed already as well. Okay. So what about pricing? Well, it's listed as a free app in the Shopify app store, which cool. But when you go to their website, you can see they have a couple of plans, which is getting pretty interesting here. The first one is actually the basic plan and it's free up to 3000 products. You will get all the mentioned features. So except these features you don't get on the basic plan. Then you have the advanced plan for basically 20 bucks and you get all the features and you can add up to 20,000 products. And the last one is the pro plan for $50 and you can add up to 75,000 products. But beside that, it's the same features. Now, if you're like, yeah, I like this, but what else is there as apps for drop shipping? First, there is Pocket, which we reviewed and they actually kind of specialize in having more Western manufacturing drop shippers. So that's pretty interesting. If you're into that, you can check them out right here. Then there's Oberlo, which is the drop shipping app from Shopify, which, you know, has its advantages as well. Then you have CG drop shipping. We have Modalist, which is also an official AliExpress partner, which we reviewed as well. A Prolo, and we have Dropify, which we've also been reviewing. But I don't know if the video is out yet. Yes, it is That's live. That's going to be a question. If it's out, it's right here. And then finally, let's look at the rating. It has a 4.8 out of 5 stars from 771 reviews, which is actually really impressive. Uh, I'm going to put the breakdown right here. And as we do with every app, we're going to just zoom in on the one stars to see if there's any red flags specifically to you. Sometimes they are, sometimes they aren't. I just like to go look at the one stars and the five stars. The five star basically say everything that's amazing and sum up. But then the one stars here, you have an overlay and I'll switch them around a bit. However, I do have to note that I think this is the highest star rating versus number amount of actual reviews left in the dropshipping app so far. All right, guys, that is it. Let me know if this information was any help to you and your business and your Shopify store. Make sure to go to test my, oh, look at that, my screen went out. But to check your store speed and your performance and know which app are installed on your store and your competitor's store by going to testmystorespeed.com. My name was Andrew from ecomexperts.io. I love you all and I see you in the next Shopify review video. Adios.